Floss Tube. It's Jen, Felicity Stitches, and I am back for another video. I have uh, something that's been pretty highly requested since I mentioned it a few videos ago, and that is some haul uh, that I accumulated during a couple of the retreats that I went to last year. And um, those retreats included uh, Stitch Nanigans, in Arizona, that's McKenna's retreat. And I went there and got to go to the attic, which was amazing. And then uh, the other hall is through um, the retreat, Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat, that was held in Amana, Iowa last year. That's um, Farm Girl Michelle Rudy's retreat. And I got to go to a couple of really cool shops uh, in Amana, but I also got to go to a like a wool shop. I'm going to show you that haul because I think it's really interesting. And then um, it was a Brenda Gervais retreat, which was phenomenal. And I got a lot of haul from her pop-up shop that I just wanted to share with you because there were things in there that I didn't even know um, Brenda did. So really exciting stuff. So without further ado, here is my haul. It's all haul. All haul. So if you're triggered by haul or you don't want to see excessive shopping, I would forward to um, another one of my videos or someone else's videos because this is basically just, I mean basically it's stash at this point because when I purchased it, it was a long time ago. And I shouldn't have to preface this, but I saved up a lot of pennies in order to purchase this haul. It wasn't some, like, credit card extravaganza. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference. Some people it seems to make a difference, but anyways, here's my haul. We're going to start uh, with Attic Haul. Amazing Attic Haul. So, what did I get? I bought... <laughs> I bought a Hands Across the Sea sampler card. Um, they have these beautiful blank cards, but what I really like about them, I'm going to do this from really far away, is that they have little patterns on the back that come from different samplers that they reproduce. So you can get just like a little snippet, and I just happen to really love that snippet. Uh, the next thing I got was some really awesome punch needle punch needle designs here's a it's like a rug and I thought it would be great for like a little mug rug I've not done a whole lot of punch needle I've only dabbled um, look how small it's not very big at all Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. This would be a great one for me to practice, I think. Uh, and then there's this one, Red Robin Sampler. And I think I got all of these probably off the freebie table at Stitch Nanigans. Also, this one, which I thought was such a score. I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation. This is a heartstring sampler-y pattern that I just love. Um, so I scored that one. Books, a schoolgirl's work. And there are, um, this is from the Spencer Museum of Art and Barb Adams and Alma Allen of Blackbird Designs partnered with them uh, to do some pieces, some patterns in this book. There's like this cool sewing tray, a little needle book, just some really cool stuff. So I got that. Again, school, a schoolgirl's work, Barb Adams and Alma Allen samplers from the Spencer Museum of Art. And this is a book in all French. I got this off of Amazon France. And it's all little red samplers. Les Marquois de Col, de Col, 
I don't know. It's an awesome little book. Fun little, fun little designs. Tiny little red samplers. Some of them are red, um, red and blue. But all way cute. Look at that on a little red striped tea towel. I love it. Could you imagine in your kitchen? There's a bunch of them. So yeah, not that I would wipe my hands on a towel that had a sampler on it, but how decadent if you did have a towel that you could wipe your hands on that you had stitched. Uh, and here is another one. This is just um, small geometric. This is a German book that I got with a bunch of small geometric designs. Very sort of ink circles-esque, I think. Just little pretties. I like to collect books. What can I say? Okay, now, I'm sorry, now we're really in the attic stuff. So, I got some 36 count feldspar by Picture This Plus. I love this fabric. It's gray with a little sort of brown green. It looks kind of stormy, um, but it's not super dark. And then this is Newcastle Stone Gray. Nice big fat piece of that. Um, just because, you know, you never know when you're going to need something. Here is, oh, I love this one. Um, this is from Samplers Remembered, and this is called Pretty Pear. And they have these on display at the attic. And really, that's how you get enabled. Because you just can't help it. You can't help but be enabled. This is Nancy Moorhead, 1826. That is the original. And this is the reproduction. And when you see them up close, it's just more than you can deal with. This is Brenda Gervais' A Needleworkers Sampler. I love her stuff. I love her colors and all of it. This is... A little thing came off. This is... Um, The Hunt, and this is by Just One More. I love this one. Scarlet House, Harriet Taylor, 1842. What got me, first of all, it's beautiful, this little pastoral scene. But the phrase on it says, whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. But it is impossible to do anything well without attention. So true. Of course, in a perfect world. So pretty. Antoinette Bovey? Bovey? Bove? This is a Samplers Remembered red work sampler. Really pretty. I love me a red work sampler. Oh. Gosh, is this one pretty. Lucy Snooshaw. You've seen this. 
And here's the here's what the antique looks like. Whoop. A little health, a little wealth, a little house, and freedom. And at the end, a little friend, a little cause to need him. Love it. Oh, in all things, be exceedingly diligent. This is a needlework press piece, and this is the whole piece. Six red alphabets, another needlework press, inspired medallions two. I don't think I bought number one, I just bought number two. stuff for gifts sometimes so this was a purchase as a t for a teacher gift because I thought a teacher would like this right teachers preserve the past reveal the present create the future and that's uh, an imaginating that's out of Mogador Ohio that's out of right near Cleveland how cool is that? Diane Arthurs is who designed that. Good job, Diane. <laughs> Susanna Lynch. Gorgeous. I'm really digging the butterflies and stuff on samplers or moths or whatever. Um, what I really like about this one is there's a great use, and it's not everywhere, but there's a really good use of purple. There's These flowers here are purple, and then there's like red and some orange. It's just, it's got a great uh, palette, and I really like it. Everybody's favorite, yours and mine, GGR's The Red Deer Sampler. I mean, how can you not? And are you guys following um, Emily C. from Eclectic Possessions? Are you following her Instagram? Are you watching her stitch this? I just, every time I see it, I am more and more and more in love with it. Now, I don't know if I'll ever stitch this, but I had to buy it because that tree. Lucy Navier, 1818. She's the 2019 Queen of the May. And she is pretty spectacular. Every, all, this whole tree is French knots, I believe. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Buy all the blackbirds. That's what I do. I buy all the blackbirds. So anything I don't have, I buy it. So we're going to go through those real quick. This is the last ripe berries. Beautiful. This is an anniversaries of the heart pattern, Valentine Rose. Another anniversary of the heart. This is a wish for you. Look at the brickwork on that. So pretty. A wish for good health, good luck, and happiness. This is farmhouse. This is. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Swan Lake. 
beautiful. Clara Ellen. I love this one. I love that greenhouse. You don't see a whole lot of greenhouses, I feel like. It's pretty. This is Moonlight Visitor. And we've got that beautiful butterfly up there. And I really like the tree. I like the uh, branches on the tree. It's different. And this is Evergreen Lane. This is all in the name of increasing my Blackbirds collection. This is half of, this is a whole, this is a whole other hobby for me is just collecting Blackbird patterns. Remember me. Two houses for the price of one. This is a book. The gift is small. Although any of you who have ever stitched a small, especially something like a drum or a pillow, you know that it's not necessarily small. It's not a small amount of work, that's for sure. Then we've got Vintage Inspirations. This is Leona's Sewing Box. This is oh, American, an American star. That one's so pretty. I love it. This one is morning star. Garden borders. Could you imagine if I actually stitched all of these and I had them, I mean, I could literally have an entire room that would just be blackbirds. This is uh, Ant Blossoms the Rose. This is the inspiration sampler for that one. So pretty. And then this is uh, my friend's house. So those are my, that's my attic haul. A little nutsy futsy, really, if we're gonna get down to it. I went crazy pants. Um, but I don't regret it. No regerts. No regerts. I got lots of great stuff. So if I ever get to retire, I will have plenty to do to keep me busy. And then of course there's kidding up. That's a whole other fun process, right? Okay, we're back. And the next bit of haul is from With Thy Needle and Thread. And this is all, this is all just fabulous stuff that I got from the Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat. This was our little gift box for the little red house sampler. I mean, I haven't even been through this bag of stuff since, since I came back from the retreat. Now there is some other things from, um, on our way to the retreat, we stopped at the country sampler shop. Oh, that place is dangerous. So I do have some other things kitted in there, some other things from there that might be kitted. I might actually use these for mania. This is, 
This is a freebie pumpkin pattern from By the Bay, but they kitted it up. Oh, I'm totally gonna do that for Mania. That's a great one. Uh, lots and lots of fabrics. I, I bought so many fabrics. To back my patterns, also just for me to look at because fabric is really pretty. Another one. So pretty wool. I'm into plaid. Oh look, little radishes. Another pretty one. These are all from Country Sampler. They have this super cute little display and you can't help but just keep picking little, they're like little, what do you call those, fat quarters? I think is what you call them. Still going. Still going. These. Like ticking. But I was on the big hunt for ticking. Um, but I wasn't always successful at finding it. But I did find a lot of really great patterns. Okay, a big part of this is country sampler. I got some walnut crystals. They come in this little package and they look like this. And they kind of look like um, instant coffee, but they're not. And they're meant to be used so that you can age your stuff. More fabric. I mean, I really, I really went nuts so on the fabric. Look at all of us. So pretty! Ooh, here's another one. Look at that. I love this one. The plan is to put these in some kind of a gorgeous A mason jar and then I can use them look how beautiful the little wrappings are too much can't can't get enough can't get enough the great thing about them is as Michelle Ruby has told you is the kits are fantastic so this is Elizabeth Thompson sampler pin keep Look at the strawberries on the corners. That's what got me. There's the kit. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This is Scarlet House Penny Pumpkin. Gorgeous. The, I mean, even with the velvets to finish. Pineberry Lane, Mary Oakley. Hello, can you believe that? If that doesn't make you wanna like pick it up and put it in your basket, I don't know what does. Here is Chessie and Me. This is Stitching Sisters. Super cute. Kitted. Ready to go. This one's not kitted, but it's Stacy Nash. This is pomegranate sewing tray and persimmon stitching fob. A 
another kit. This is Ant Blossoms as the Rose Drum. So they will kit stuff up for you and just show you a picture of it. So I have this book, right? I just showed you that. Ant Blossoms the Rose, I have the book. Well, they have kitted the project for you. So there's nothing in here except for a picture, like a black and white picture of, of what it is you're buying the kit for. Um, so you have to already have the pattern. I can pass that up. Beautiful, beautiful. Gathering the Green Sampler, Stacy Nash. And the thing is that these were hanging up in the shop. That's how I get it. That's how I get stuck. I have wanted this silly pig. <laughs> Spotted Pig's Pin Keep. I love this. And I think it's stitched on murky. It is stitched on murky. I love it so much. So those were my Stacy Nash pieces. We're gonna do a little bit more country sampler and then we're we'll finish with Brenda. This is the little, there's a little piece of um, paper with all the instructions on how to use those walnut crystals that they include. Here is Maria Selby Humphrey. Lots of beautiful pieces in here. I love this drum. I thought this was so cute. This is Plum Street's A Lady's Trim Keep Companion. So it's like a little roll that you can put your specialty trims on. And it says trims on there. Very sweet. Threadwork Primitives, you know me. I wanna commemorate buying this house last year over and over and over again. So I just keep buying patterns that will let me do that. And I'm gonna put them all over my house. And I don't care. Uh, this one is, this is another cute one, Holiday Patchwork. This is a Threadwork Primitives. Very simple. Alphabet, reindeer, Christmas tree. Perfect. This one got me. Ooh, I'm going to put this one in my mania starts. <laughs> this is Sampler's Not Forgotten Bouquet 1813 kit. And there it is. Kit it up in all its gorgeousness. And then another, this is a country sampler exclusive reproduced for you by Needlework Press. This is Jane E. Horton. Beautiful. Okay, that's it. That's all my country sampler haul. Now, this is all of my Brenda Gervais Hall. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I can't be judged. Okay, here is my little red house sampler. And this was the sampler exclusive for the retreat. This is the little pin cushion, Needleworkers Accoutrement. Oh yes, that's Brenda's. John Hancock there. You got, I mean, if you're gonna go to a retreat with a designer, you wanna get a, something to commemorate. So that was my little special commemoration. This is, did you know that Brenda does reproduction samplers? I did not until this retreat. This is uh, Betsy Snyder, 1822. This is a special Souvenirs of the Heart, Autumn in a Manna, which I'm sure you all have seen. So sweet. 
This is one that I've loved for forever. This is a uh, Christmas bird. Something about the design on that sort of chocolate fabric gets me. And I love the swirliness of the bowl and the, the bird. I just love the whole thing. The Christmas bird. So basically I just treated myself. This is L. Genders 1875. Little red work sampler. Beautifulness. These are the, this is the um, Assembler Petite collection. These were all over ones that Brenda did. There's one and two. She likes her over one stuff. Oh, this was such a great one. I'm supposed to stitch this with Kim. I wonder if she already stitched it. This is um, House of Blues and Brown Sampler Pillow. And I was gifted a bunch of ticking to help me make that pillow. This is Winter Rose Manor. I'm sure you all have seen this one. A lot of people stitching that. This, this, little... this is Berry Days at Thistledown Farm. When I see her pictures and stuff, I just feel so cozy. This is Faith of the Heart. Love those big bluebirds. This is another reproduction. This is Harriet Elizabeth Coe. Very pretty, very colorful. Noel sampler. And this is, I actually think I got this from Country Stitches. But this is called Yuletide and it is by Brenda Gervais and there's a St. Nicholas punch needle and then there is a penny rug and a book binding. How pretty. So I got all, I got, I'll show you this in just a little bit and then I bought some fun stuff. These are hand poured wax wares. This is called um, Be in Her Bonnet. And I, th I believe the beeswax has cinnamon on it. And that's how they get it to look. It, don't, it looks like metal if you look up close. Just beautiful. And then these, so sweetly packaged, are little wax. This is a little wax raspberry. And then I just, the packaging, the packaging had me shook, I believe is what the kids say now. Here's another one. So there's this little shredded music. this bee scout.
a little bee charm. I mean, the detail on these is really beautiful. So those were my little extra treats that I just bought to have little pretties about because I deserve little pretties. We all deserve little pretties. All right, are you exhausted yet? Because there's more. Okay, we're back. And I wanted to show you the haul that I got from this amazing shop called uh, The Woolen Needle. And they are in uh, Williamsburg, Iowa. And you can find them at www.thewoolenneedle.com. And just, if you're into any kind of like wool work, they've got it there. It's very, very cool. So, I've never done wool work before. I went a little nuts when I went in there. Um, first thing I did was get some things that appeal to me, that have always appealed to me, that I just have never tried before, and that is a uh, punch needle. So I got this little kit. And it's, it's got the thread and, and the fabric with the design on it. I really need to try some punch needle. This is another one. This is a ball jar instead of a cur jar. Again, kit it up. I don't believe there's, it's got the screen printed weaver's cloth all ready to go, but you still have to buy the threads. And then here is another one that I just loved. And this is called Checkered Path. And it's all kitted. Of course, I don't want to do that until I know what I'm doing. And I don't know how I'm going to figure out what I'm doing until I practice. So your guess is as good as mine. Then we got into some wool work. And I bought these Four Seasons Wool Applique. And they're just little simple seasonal uh, table mats that are the perfect accent, accent for a table and have ample space to feature your centerpiece. I didn't buy any wool for that, I just bought the pattern. This one, oh, they had this hanging and they didn't have the wool kit yet. This is called Blue Ridge Beauty. And I'm telling you, this picture doesn't do it justice. It is stunning. So I have visions of this sitting on my, my buffet, if I ever get one in my house, if we ever actually move in or you know, running down, because it's kind of like a table runner. So pretty. So I have to call them and get that wool kit, actually. Now I did buy some wool kits with patterns. The first one I bought was this Wooly Trees. And they had it all kitted up, ready to go, everything you need. And then I even bought um, a sweet little iron stand for it. So, um, looking forward to making that. And then I bought this Autumn Runner. Again, it's hard to see, but it's super pretty and all kitted up. I just, they make it so easy for you to purchase all of the things. Here's another one. This is called Peggy's Pennies. And I believe the pennies refer to the little circles. All kitted, ready to go. That might be one I start right away. Um, this one, I think, is going to be a mania start, and this is called um, the Coaster Penny Kit. So it's really, it's just a little coaster. Boop. 
and it's got all the little pennies there. So really easy, fun little something to practice. So I could totally make this a mania start. Let me put that aside. Mania! I'm trying to get excited and not be scared. And then the next one, I got this book. Wool Applique Heirlooms. You can get this at The Woolen Needle. www.thewoolenneedle.com The projects in here are to die for. And I'll show you the one that really got me. Here it is. Neutrals Pinwheel Fields Table Runner. They had it on display at the shop. It was stunning. Right next to it, they had this beautifully packaged. How do you say no to that? I don't know. I haven't figured it out, so I bought that. So I have some fun wool applique stuff in my future. That's it. That's my haul from the wool and needle. I think I did pretty well. I feel like I cleaned up. So those, those are all the things that I accumulated over the course of last year. Um, quite a bit. Not gonna lie. I kind of have everything I need right now for a long time. So I'm kidding stuff up if I feel like I really need to start it. And you know, I did, I did Nashville. I mean, Nashville doesn't count though, right? It's a hot mess. Let's just say I will probably never shop like that again. Till um, this fall when I go to Midwest again. Other than that, I will probably never shop like this again. <laughs> so, um, really amazing. It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed myself. And I like the idea of trying new things so I've got to I've got to step out of my comfort zone I've got to try this punch needle I'm going to do this wool applique stuff I don't think the wool applique is going to be too too difficult but we'll see those are all my things I've showed you everything no more secret oh don't forget don't forget the crafty you is still offering its 15% off discount for all of my viewers. You can go to www.thecraftyu.net or you can give them a call. Uh, the phone number is, if you know, you know exactly what you're looking for. The phone number is 440-838-1600 and there's somebody at the shop um, usually between 10 and 2 uh, to answer the phones, take phone orders, that sort of thing. They're not open, the shop itself is not open for business right now during uh, the virus lockdown, but they are, they are mailing things out, they are doing curbside pickup if you are in desperate need, um, but they will, they will help you. They have been invaluable to me in terms of finding um, just the right fabric or finding uh, substitutions for threads. They carry so many things. They carry samplers, they carry cute stuff, they carry stockings, they carry Lizzie Kate, Little House Needleworks, Brenda Gervais, Plum Street Samplers. Uh, they have a lot of Jeanette Douglas. They just have a lot of amazing things. They also have, um, if you're into wool applique. They have um, Rebecca Smith designs. They have wool there. Um, just amazing things. And they will cut fabric for you uh, to order. So amazing stuff. Lots of great things. Again, that's 15% off discount for the Calf to You through the end of April. Don't forget. All right. Bye, guys. Hey Floss Tube, it's Jen, Felicity Stitches, and I just wanted to uh, tell you the results of the 
uh, berry bowl sampler giveaway. I'm sorry I didn't put my video up this weekend. I was on call both days and um, you know how that goes. So there was no way to get the video up and all that sort of thing. So um, I let comments go through last night and I picked a winner and uh, the winner is uh, tech stylist Lori. I will um, send you a message and let you know that you won the berry ball sampler and then grab your address and I will send that to you. Get that out in the mail as soon as possible. Congratulations. Thank you to everybody who participated. I really enjoyed uh, your creative sentence making. Um, a couple of reminders. Berry Bowl Sal starts on May 1st and I'm not 100% sure but I think it's hashtag Berry Bowl Sal and um, anybody who wants to join in can join in. Feel free. Post your progress on Instagram. Post your progress on your uh, favorite uh, Facebook groups. I personally just stick to Instagram. Uh, I belong to some Facebook groups, but I, I'm not a huge participator uh, in them. The only one I follow really closely is the uh, Midwest Cross Stitch group and then some sampler groups all about smalls, hands across. Okay, so I, I belong to several groups that I participate in quite a bit, but um, I don't post a whole lot. So mostly I'm lurking and, and commenting to cheer other people on. So uh, Instagram, do Instagram and hashtag variable Sal, I believe is uh, what we're gonna use and that's May 1st. Anybody is welcome to join in. Everybody is welcome to join in. And uh, what else? Oh, 15% off discount for anyone who orders from the Crafty U until the end of April. So uh, I believe the last day of April would be your last day to order. You can order online. You can call by phone. Uh, you can send an email. Their email address is www.thecraftyu.net. And um, I know there's somebody at the shop usually from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon to take phone orders and that sort of thing. So um, take advantage of that sale. The code is IHEARTFS, like Felicity Stitches, I H E A R T F S, and that'll get you 15% off of anything that they have in stock currently at the Crafty U. And I just want to thank Janine um, and everybody there at the Crafty U for offering such a great sale to my viewers. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Uh, I miss the shop. I can't wait until this quarantine is over so that I can come and visit. What else? Oh, uh, let me just show you quick progress on my uh, current whip, which is Merrily Merrily We Welcome Spring by Blackbird Designs. And I cannot tell you what I'm stitching this on. Oh God, I hate it when the light changes. It drives me nuts. Um, I don't know what I'm stitching. I don't have any of the information with me. I literally just grabbed the whip because I'm really trying to get this video up this morning. So here is my fabric. Uh, the only change I have made, everything is exactly as charted except for this border here. I am doing in the color Bullfrog. It calls for a combination of Palomino and Putty. And those were both, here's Palomino and here's Putty. And then here's Bullfrog. And I just felt like Bullfrog spoke to me more of a spring color. So here's the color palette. Let me Nicole these so that you can see them. She's such a good thread comber. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. <laughs> I know you say you don't comb them pre ahead of time, Nicole, but I swear I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> that makes mine not not happy. 
here's the other side so you can see them all. They're really, really a beautiful palette. Um, and so far, I had messed up a little bit with my placement of this band. I started it up a row too early and I didn't figure that out until I got to the Z. <laughs> so that was a little bit of a problem because I had to take that band out, but I can zoom. I can zoom me here for you guys. Maybe. I'm really, really enjoying it. It is a lot of fun to stitch so far. And the pattern is, I think there's like, hey Em, I think there's like six alphabets, four, at least four. And then um, a lot of different motifs. But it's not, it's not a huge, a huge piece. So it's gonna go probably from here to here. It's maybe a little over a foot. I bet it's 12 by 12, honestly, when I get done. It's probably gonna be close to 12 by 12 because I think it's a perfect, it's pretty close to being a perfect square. Um, so that's my progress. I am pretty happy with it. I have been stitching a lot and I haven't been stitching on anything else except for Merrily Merrily right now. And I think that's it. We're still dealing with cold snaps here in Ohio. So I haven't done any planting yet. I'm really chomping at the bit to get my garden going, but until it gets, you know, warmer where it stays warmer and doesn't keep dipping back down, I don't think I have an option in terms of planting. Um, I have checked some of the, the groups that I belong to and a lot of people who live in my zone, which is 6A, 6A, I think. I thought I was a 5A, but I think I'm a 6A. I'm like between a zone, f I'm in zone 6, I know that for sure. Um, they don't plant until Mother's Day which is May 10th this year, May 10th. So I've got two weeks, two weeks I have to wait, that's okay. Um, I might give in and plant next weekend, the cold crops. Uh, let's see, kitchen is going well. We got the second coat of primer on and I just have to do, we have to do the ceiling paint and the wall paint, it's all white so it, doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Um, word on the street is that the slab for the countertops is in, which is awesome, and the cabinets may be ready as soon as two weeks from now. So fingers crossed, say a little prayer, light a candle, burn some sage, whatever it is you do, do that for me. I would really appreciate it um, that we can get these cabinets in and those countertops measured and in because I am dying to be in an actual kitchen. Just dying for it. Uh, otherwise, I think that's all I have for you this week. You'll see a pre-recorded video of um, haul. That haul is from, well, actually it'll be playing before this, so it doesn't matter. Um, thanks for watching and Oh, stay safe, everybody. I hope that everything you stitch with your hands shows your heart. We'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.